heavens above. I have stood tall in this forest of silent trees long enough to see mountains form and castles crumble. And I'm tired of merely seeing. You blessed me with a voice, so bless me with someone to hear it. Once upon a time, in a world of fairies and fiends. A girl was born from the dirt underneath a tree. With a heart too big for her body. Stay, the things out there take but never give. Talk, but never listen. Break, but never fix. You cannot be broken here. Said the tree to the girl it named Gardenia. Little did they know that the solitude was a painful death of its own. And the girl wanted more. She had the power to walk, but she wanted somewhere to walk too. You have brought me great happiness over these many winters, Gardenia. So I won't prevent you from finding your own. I don't want to lose you to a broken heart. Take this apple for the journey, my child. I'll always be here waiting, no matter how far you stray. And so, with a heart full of hope, Gardenia had set off to find happiness. The girl traveled through the unknown wilderness until the rumbling in her stomach demanded a rest. <laughs> my, my, that apple looks just divine, little one. Oh, um, do you want it? Oh, how lovely. Where does such a sweet thing get such a sweet treat? Oh, come on, dearie. I mean you no harm. I can even give you something in return. Do you have happiness? Oh, yes. Of course, child. Why, well, I, I can make you some right this very moment. It's that way. The oldest tree. The only one with apples. Thank you, dearie. Now, hand me your heart. You're so kind. And to think of how long I've been scared of the world. Are all the creatures of the world as kind as you? Ugh. Glitter. What did you do? My best. But we're in more danger than I thought. I cannot fix a heart this broken, but I do know what can. What is it? Please, what would fix me? Have you ever heard of true love's kiss? It's the only thing that can heal a heart this broken. You just need to wait for your prince to come along, my sweet. A real prince may not settle, but a cursed one surely will. That will give you the happiness you seek. Drop my hands. Gardenia felt her stomach sink and her face curl. Though her heart was in pieces, it was hope that kept it beating. And so the swindled girl stumbled her way down the lonely path of her choosing, waiting for her prince to appear. Hey, little girl, are you lost? Psst, down here. Hi. What brings a fairy like you into the woods alone? I'm not a fairy. I'm Gardenia. Who are you? Are you happiness? I'm the... I know who you are. You're my prince. That's what the kind lady said. Oh, what a terrible fate you've suffered being turned into a rock. True love's kiss will mend my heart and break your curse. We can live in your castle happily ever after. You are happiness! <laughs> uh. 
And just then, Gardenia knew. There it was, the last straw. Gardenia knew what she had done. She could smell the smoke and ashes of consequence travel all the way from her burning mother. What was she thinking when she left? Did she really think she could find what nobody ever has? What are you doing? Does it stop, even stop, exist? Stop. And then she lived happily ever after. <laughs>